Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody was asking a question on Facebook, how to put a contour line around this item. And I've done several like this, but and I've already done it to make sure it works and you could still refine it. And, and I did not clean the image up. The image needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Uh, you know, take out some of these jagged edges and actually make your contour look better. So we're just gonna take that contour line away and delete it. Now these are a group of different, uh, ungrouped, but they're a bunch of different objects. So when that does happen, you get your boundary tool. Before I do anything, I'm gonna see how big this is. It's just a little over four inches. So I'm gonna set my nudge factor to five. I'm gonna take my boundary tool and then I'm gonna, uh, you can see the boundary, put a boundary around everything. So I nudged it over five inches. Then I'm gonna select it all. And I'm gonna go to effects contour. I'm gonna contour to the outside 0.5, a half of an inch, rounded corners. Then I'm going to go up to object and break contour apart. And I'm gonna take that contour and move it over. I've got a couple of extra little pieces in here. So I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna go up to object and I'm gonna break the curve apart. Then I'm gonna take those extra pieces and delete them. So now I've only got the contour. Now I'm gonna to contour to the inside 0.045. So I'm going backwards. Whoop. Contour 0.45. So I'm going backwards so it'll be only 0 0.05 off. That doesn't really look right, but let's try it. We'll go to object break contour apart and then grab it and make it red. And then we'll nudge it over to our original deal. And it it, it did work. Now this around this evidently a cigarette stick or back in the day, you could still change that. And here's what I mean by these jagged edges. So your contour is gonna be jagged. So if you would clean that up first, if you have X7 or above, you could clean that up quite a bit and make that contour a lot cleaner looking by getting rid of some of those nodes. So then when you do do it, your contour will be a lot better, and this is really easy. Now, if you do not have X7 or above, you can still clean up lines like that with the shape tool, and everybody's got it. Just select on your item. Well, I'm grabbing the contour tool, so let's get rid of our contour and grab, grab that, grab the shape tool, and evidently that must be a group, so we're gonna, nope. So that should, yeah, there we go. So if you do not have X7 or above, you can still get rid of some of these nodes and make it smoother. Just think about when you do it, and kind of watch what you're doing. Don't always take out all of them. You know, take out most of them. And it doesn't really matter if you change the shape a little bit. Um, you know, it works really easy, say around this. And this is where the shape to, or the smoothing tool works really good on something like this. If you do have X7 or above, grab that smoothing tool and you can really do it really quickly. And then your contour is gonna be a lot better. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit and thank you for watching. There's pretty good contour around there.